The, the view that we take with uh, the evolution from HSPA to HSPA plus or to LTE or through whole three te all three technologies is that um, there's no real right or wrong answer which you can apply to the whole industry. So if I'm a, an HSPA operator today, there's a, a bunch of factors which help me determine what my correct path would be. If I bought equipment which has got a, a smooth evolution path to HSPA plus but then doesn't go into LTE, so with SDR becoming a kind of a gradually maturing technology, um, then, then obviously I have to maintain HSPA plus for as long as that business case and the return on investment part of that business case runs. If I've got to buy something new today, then SDR says that I can go in either path. So I can buy an HSPA plus capable way station, which I've got a software defined radio upgrade path to LTE, or I can just go straight into LTE right now. And then I've still got software defined radio upgrade path to next generations of LTE, adding in more frequency bands. So we don't really have um, a, an example of a right or wrong answer. We just see everything as becoming a mobile broadband ecosystem. And the really good news is investment into HSPA and HSPA Plus today isn't sunk investment when you move to LTE because LTE is probably going to be in hotspots and your next best technology is the thing which provides you with coverage. So if I have LTE in an inner city, if I fall off of LTE coverage, I'm going to fall back to HSPA Plus or HSPA um, people like AT&T with their statements of continued investment in HSPA for now, LTE is the next step in the near future, exactly reflects that.